Hey students, I wanted to uh, show you how to draw P4-8. Um, I had a video up and it was removed due to some referencing to a material that I did not show, yet I was, uh, I was uh, tagged for having uh, uh, misused copyright or copyright infringement, so I'm not even going to say what book we're using, but I will uh, show you how to draw this. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the large circles. We're going to draw the top view first. Okay, so we're going to start with a 2. And then from there, from the center, I'm going to go this way. And we're going to go 6. So I type in 6, and that takes us to there. So now I can draw a radius of one. So we go here and one and boom. Now what we're going to do next, I need to move, let's see, come on now, open up, there we are. So what I need is tangent and everything else I'm going to turn off, okay? Because we're only going to do this one time and then I'm going to play around with that. So, we go up here, and then we go over here, and that line is now tangent to those circles. And it doesn't matter where I click with it in tangent, uh, you know, it will stay as a smooth tangency with that circle. And then I can click this one right there, and all is well. So I can now remove this, and I can also trim those two. Okay, so there's our basic shape for the top. And next, I'm going to go into the, where's it at? Center mark, and I'm going to use our center line. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click there. Now, next it gives me a spot for the other two circles. So we're going to hit center diameter. And I need to go back over here to our O snaps and turn on a few of these. And that should be enough for right now. So here's this one. And I will need to change the layer again. Uh, but 2.5. Okay, so now I can go to this, click up here, go back to my zero layer or object layer, whichever one you're using to draw. Okay, and I want to make sure I'm back into, well, since we're sticking with the O layer. And then we're going to go into here and do this again for the 0.75. There we go. Our top view is complete. So now, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now you can use construction lines if you like. Um, I normally will just draw a line straight down right about, right about here. And then I will come out here, 9, because I know it's 9. Because see, the boom. So I know it's 9. And then I'm going to go up one, and then I'm going to come back across, and just, you know, let the uh, polar tracking tell me I'm straight. And there we go. There's that layer. Next, I'm going to draw a line coming down to here. And now I can copy this from there to there to there and to there. And next I can offset one, enter, and I can go one and two. Now I'm going to select this one. 
when I hit trim, when I do that, that erases everything above the line that I selected. So I don't have to go into each one of these and hit trim all so many times. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this, and this, and this, and this, and there's that view. Okay. So now we're going to place um, our center line, go back into center, and I'm just going to select this line and this line. Now, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to copy that from right, let's see, from right there. I'm going to go straight across 6. And now, I can select this, click Move, and I can go straight down 1. Now, that is right where it needs to be. And this one, I just need to move, I'm going to zoom in, just need to move this box here, and that box to there. So now it's sticking out the proper distance. Like I said, that one's where it needs to be. Okay. Next, we're going to draw our 45. Let's, uh, let's just do it in an object. Oops. Need to hit line first. And at 45 degrees, right there. So now, I'm going to draw a line straight across. Notice the little green dash line is telling me I'm at zero. And that's right where I want to be. So we're going to copy from there to there to there and there and there and there. And then we're going to go up here to the spot where that circle starts or that arc for the nose right there and there. All right. So now we select those. Mirror. Do that right there. And I'm going to hit yes and enter. Okay, so next I'm going to take a line and I'm just going to come off of this edge here. Okay. I don't have to make it all that far, but I do need to cross over some of these. And I'm just going to copy this one four times. Well, copy it three. Make four lines total. Now, I can hit trim. Get rid of that one. And I can hit trim here. And here. And here. So now, I can... Let's see. So here's that one. And then, let's see, which one is that? That one's going to be two and a half. So let me double check my measurement here. I think that's going to be this one is two and a half. Yep, that's two and a half. For some reason, I'm in the metric. I need to take care of that. So, go back to trim. Okay, and then I can clear these guys out. Clear these guys out. Clear that out, that out. And those two little fangs, I'm going to extend there and there because those are the lines that represent where this stops, okay? So, take those out. There is your drawing. Next, we're going to make sure this is scaled at half scale, okay? Uh, so that's because in our inch title block, we're going to have to make this half scale. 
just like that. Now we can add one last center line. All right, like that. I can select this, take that one there, take that one there. Now, we want the center marks to show up correctly. So we're going to adjust the uh, LTS. So we type in LTS. So that stands for Line Type Scale. And then we're going to change. Okay, it's set at 0.8. We're going to make it 0.5 because it's set at half scale. And notice now these show up as center lines. Okay. So that's how this should be done. And we're going to make that say half scale and there we are okay so make it look like this and I'll have a video showing you how to dimension this directly okay take care bye bye